We'll see you now. For a wicked good time at the Majestic because Wicked is on stage here. Yep, for the next couple of weeks, and we are here with the star of the show, Jenna Claire Mason, who is is it Galinda or Glindo? How do yes, you want to be addressed? Galinda. Name change in okay. there, but we start as Galinda, so, moves to just Glinda. So we start this interview as Galinda, then we'll change it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Give us a high seven. You want to be called <laughs> Glinda. So. Okay. Can you tell us about this show for folks that may not have seen it. Oh well, definitely if you love the Wizard of this is something you cannot miss, but it's the backstory of the witches that you think you know from The Wizard of Oz, Glinda the Good Witch, and Elphaba, who's the Wicked Witch of the West, and um, sort of how their unlikely friendship came along. So it's everything leading up to Dorothy's arrival and then a little bit after, mm -hmm. the backstory. And a lot of good surprises, too. Definitely. I think if you've never seen The Wizard of Oz, it's still definitely a wonderful time, but there are so many almost like inside jokes if you're super familiar with The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> What's so interesting is if you compare this Glinda to the one that we know from the movie, they're totally different people. Popular. I'll help you be popular. They are. <laughs> You're a but I still, feisty. Wear, I still wear some pink. I still fly in a bubble, and you will too. <laughs> we still got we got some glitter. <laughs> oh, okay. Have glitter, we'll travel. <laughs> there are so many fun moments in the show. What are some of your favorites? Oh, I think my I've been doing the show on the road now for about a year and a half, so I think it's always changing. You know, you do something eight times a week and it right. evolves, and that's the beauty of live theater, right? Um, but I really, really love the Oz Dust Ballroom scene. The costumes, you know, our Tony Award winning costumes are so beautiful, and um, that's a big switch in their friendship, and I think it's really foundational for the rest of the show. And I love getting to do the, the beautiful choreography, and um, it's a moment on stage where I get to really interact with all the ensemble and the principal characters, so it's a lot of fun. And then the relationship with you and Elphaba, especially the scene where you're in bedroom and you're chatting and yes. that just looks like you're having fun <laughs> we are. doing it every it's time. It's really sweet. The gal who plays also that's named Mary Kate and we have become real life best friends through this journey. We've been doing the roles together for a year now so we've lived together in a number of cities and, and I can tell you it's, it's very much like like what we do when we're back at our Airbnbs. <laughs> so it's, it's a good time. When you travel around and I, I always have to ask about this theater, you know, there's a lot of very new theaters and all, but when, you know, something like this and it's just got that history to it. What's it like right. performing on a stage oh, like this? This theater is beautiful. I actually came to San Antonio one other time in the fourth grade, saw the Alamo, walked on the river walk, so I was already excited to come back. But this theater is beautiful. The audiences have been so warm and so responsive. The acoustics are incredible and it's just, it's just beautiful. Of course, there is a little bit of magic to the theater, and it's not just, you know, all the special effects. There's something special to ride in the bubble, right? Right, of course. You cannot ride without glitter. Mm -hmm. Glinda needs her glitter, so <laughs> I'm going to put some next to your eyes, so you'll be ready. And then we'll sprinkle a little on top for good luck. Yay! <laughs> the real Glinda wand. <laughs> oh, my God! It's got some weight to it, right? So We're you can hold it like this and you can open it up. I know, right? No. Let me feel I'm drunk with power. Leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to feel how heavy it is. <laughs> We're going oh, wow. to give you a line, too. Okay. So you're going to come down and say your line, and um, then you'll get to just enjoy the bubble ride. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Look, it's Glinda. Oh, it's good to see me, isn't it? Yay! <laughs> It's always so cool to be backstage right. in productions like that. And uh, that was neat. I've never been on the stage with the Majestic at that height. At that, uh, that <laughs> <laughs> and a, a big shout out to not only uh, Jenna Clara, but all of the folks there because we shot that Wednesday evening oh, at like 6 30. Minutes, 30, the, 45 yeah. minutes before they went. The show they was started? on at 7 30. So they yeah. were getting ready, and that's why the lights were like that because they were actually testing things out right yeah. there. And the audience started coming in just as we were finishing the interview, but it was just so cool. So <laughs> that's really neat. And if, you've, if you get a chance to go see the show, it is unlike, I think, really any other show. Yeah. You know? No, it's, it's it's. I mean, it's cool to to how they tie it all together yep. with the actual story of the Wizard of Oz, how they lead on up to it, and you find out where the Scarecrow kind of originated, and the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. It's really neat. Yeah. But anyway, and, the, and uh, Glinda and Elphaba together oh, is hilarious. Fantastic. It's great. So <laughs> it is on stage there at the Majestic until October fourteenth. Uh, for more information, of course, just head to our website. You know what to do. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.